join, join the Air Force Reserve. Join and do your share. Join the Air Force Reserve. Choose a job on the ground or in the air. Now's the time to build your future here with a great retirement plan. So if you're a vet, it's your best bet to see your Air Force Reserve today. From Radio Central, service at 30, a new appointment in the nation's capital. Here's the story from Russ Turnovan in Washington. After weeks and weeks of searching, the administration has come up with a staff director for its Civil Rights Commission. The Thomasville White House has just announced the appointment of Concord, New Hampshire lawyer Gordon Tiffany, who was former Attorney General of New Hampshire and a friend of White House Chief of Staff Sherman Adams. Tiffany will be the chief administrative arm of the new Civil Rights Commission, will guide the group, which is led by Dr. John A. Hanna, and which was set up by the Congress last summer. The administration had asked a number of prominent lawyers to serve as staff director and had been turned down. Today, Mr. Tiffany accepts. This is Russ Tornabin, NBC News, Washington. NBC Radio brings you service at 30 every hour on the half hour, plus news every hour on the hour. One Man's Family, winner of 46 National Awards, a Carlton E. Morse creation. One Man's Family, now in its 26th year, is dedicated to the mothers and fathers of the younger generation and to their bewildering offspring. In 60 seconds, we'll hear Chapter 36, Book 129 of the Barber Family Saga. But first, hear this. This message on Asian flu comes as a special service from the makers of Anison. No medicine can cure influenza, and only your doctor can determine whether you have it. But there are certain symptoms to warn you. If you have a fever, headache, sniffles, and general achy, knocked-out feeling, call your doctor and stay in bed until he gets there. In the meantime, to help relieve these symptoms promptly, start taking Anison tablets. You see, Anison reduces fever faster and more effectively than aspirin. Yes, Anison is far more effective to break up a fever. What's more, Anison gives better total effect in relieving pain than aspirin or aspirin with buffering added. This is because Anison not only relieves pain, but also helps relieve nervous tension, depression, and leaves the patient comfortably relaxed. So when flu strikes, first call your doctor. Start taking Anison, A-N-A-C-I-N, to relieve symptoms promptly. Anison tablets. Anison is a registered trademark of the Whitehall Pharmacal Company. Today, report from Idaho. Mrs. Jack Barber, waiting up for her husband, the well-known attorney and after-dinner speaker, goes to the front door for the umpteenth time to peer toward the public gates of Seacliff in the hope of seeing headlights. Wisps of fog make a shifting white curtain under the streetlights, and the streets seem deserted until... Betty? Well, for goodness sake, Hazel, where'd you drop in from? Been over to see the folks. Foggy tonight. Mm-hmm. Delay, Jack, I guess. Don't you want to come in? Well, I might for a minute. My housekeeper isn't much company. Uh, that big old place must seem hollow with Dan away. You've no idea. Hoga's friendly, but she cracks jokes in Finnish. I never know when to laugh. <laughs> oh, come on in. Pinky dropped in right after dinner, but of course Jack wasn't home. Uh, sit anywhere. He said he'd be back. Betty, Jack home yet? Oh, uh, come in, Father Barber. I expect him any minute. Hazel's here. Oh, oh, good. Right after you left the house, there was a wireless from Claudia and Nicholas. They have arrived in Hawaii. They'll spend a few days on the beach and then come home. Uh, Hawaii. La Hulawai Lagoon. <laughs> you make it, Jack. You know, I told Jack the other day, if we wait till all six girls are grown up and married, I'll be too old to dance the hula. You yearn to dance the hula? Uh, joke. Father Barber. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Hazel, I was telling your mother, it slipped my mind while you were over there. Pinky was asking me about investing in Daniel's business after the merger. And I think you should hear it from me firsthand. I advised against it. You don't have to explain why, Father. Oh, it has nothing to do with my feeling for Daniel. I don't like the setup. I know. I don't like Mr. Duckworth's record. I know. Yes, well, meant to tell you before. Well, I'll run along. That's good news about Claudia and Nicky. Yes. 
Good night. Night. Oh, a rolling, tumbling fog out here. Yes, I noticed. Good night, Father. Yes. Mother Barbara told me Dan had a miserable flight to Idaho. Mm, I had a letter this morning, and if you read between the lines, it was awful. Mr. Duckworth flies his own plane? Well, he tries to. I guess his wife does considerable flying from the back seat. <laughs> Her name is Babe. She dearly loves to go to ski lodges and sit in the cocktail lounge. Babe, that's a quaint, old-fashioned nickname. She was very active in the late 20s. Do I sound catty? No. Do I? <laughs> oh, dear. Thank goodness Judge Hunter doesn't mix up social life with the law business. It must be terrible when women have to be nice to the boss's wife, when she isn't even sober. Did you refuse to go on the trip? Well, no, but I wasn't really invited. Well, that's a good reason to stay home, all right. Dan didn't think I'd like Babe Duckworth. So he told him I'd be busy moving into the new house. Well, that was the absolute truth, too. Always nice to have an excuse that's the truth. I'm home. Don't ask me how it went. Why not, Jack? Because I was since... Oh, hi, Hazel. Hi there. I like to see a man in a dinner jacket. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Hey, where are you going? Home. I only stopped in on my way home. And she's been over at the folks' house. Here's a coat. Oh, when does Dan get back? There wasn't any set time. The conference was to last a week. Is he flying back with Mr. Duckworth? I suppose so, if he can stand the conversation. Hey, wait, don't you want me to walk home with you? Oh, don't be silly. I often walk alone at night. I prefer it to being in the house. Good night. Good night, night, Angel. Oh, it must be grim in that big old house. I told Pinky tonight... Oh, by the way, he was here, and he's coming back. Well, let's turn off the lights right now. Okay. I just let me gather up my knitting. What did you start to say about the speech? I was sensational. Who said so? Bemby blasting game? No, the treasurer when he wrote out the check. Now that counts as a compliment. <clears throat> oh, say hello and start yawning. Oh, oh, oh. oh son. Come on in. We'll return in just a moment to one man's family. This is Madeline Carroll. You know, water's awfully hard on the hands, especially in cold weather. It makes them so red and rough. But even though you can't keep your hands out of water, you can protect them. Just use today's Truche, now with silicone. Today's Truche protects, beauty treats, and helps nature heal rough red skin. Do try today's truche. Hey, friend, think this drum will do? What's up? Swift has found a new way to make all sweet margarine. Oh? And I'm announcing it with a big bass drum. Boom, boom, boom. Buy new, new, all sweet. No big bass drum, Clifford. Just say new, new, all sweet is now made with the natural flavor formula for the most delicate natural flavor ever in a margarine. Yeah, but what will I... And Swift will pay a 15-cent cash refund on the first pound of new, new, all sweet. Yeah, but what will I do with my big bass drum? <laughs> Pinky Murray, one-time millionaire less taxes, who recently put over a deal in Chinese jade, leans back in his chair and addresses his sleepy host and hostess. So, while I was waiting for you, Uncle Jack, I drove over to see Rod Hollenbeck. He was my broker last time I had money, and I didn't see any reason not to keep him on. Yeah. Oh, good man. I knew after what you said about my buying drip well oil, you'd want me to know before I invested in Duckworth. What? Huh? Dan's company. After the merger, it's going to be called Duckworth Outdoor Stores Incorporated. So I thought I'd check up on Mr. Duckworth before I put in a chunk. And Betty, go on up to bed. I'm all right. Go on, Pinky. Well, Grandfather says this guy just missed jail a couple times. I could have told you that myself. Well, brother, does Dan know it? Hazel says he does. He eats guys like Dan. Yes, we know. But the point is, every time there's a merger, the stock goes up. Rat says it's a very volatile stock, and if you know when to get on and off, a trader can do all right. If you want my advice, you won't buy any. Really? Do you think you'll give Dan a sharp-pointed stick? I think... Hey, Betty, go on to bed. I'm all right, Jack. 
I told Dan before they flew to Sun Valley he'd better let me read the small type in all the contracts, but Dan seemed pretty sure of himself. He said it was going to be a question of who outsmarted who. Who outsmarted whom? I thought you were asleep. Oh, no, not me. Wide awake whenever we have a guest. <laughs> Son, why don't you drop in at the office to discuss this? Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. If you want to charge me for dropping in here, it's okay because... Jack's had a long, hard day, and I'm the mother of six daughters. Okay, sure, I'll go. Well, Joan had a wire from CZ tonight. He got to Hawaii. He did? Yeah, on his way to the Hawaii Lagoon. And he'll rest up some more and then range out from there. Probably go to Tahiti. Well, Claudia and Nikki are in Hawaii, too. Oh? Huh? I got there today. I hope they run into each other. Oh, they will if they're out after dark. You can't miss Cousin Consider once the sun goes down. Well, he's a great little old guy, all right. He's kind of disappointed in me because I won't travel with him. But oh, all my life I've wanted a whole million, Uncle Jack. After I get it, that's when I plan to look him up. And go wherever he wants to go. Well, <laughs> good night, Aunt Betty. Yeah. Guess she dropped off. Yeah, I guess she did. Night. I'll see you at the office. I'll be fine. Good night. Betty. 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 Mm-hmm. You're asleep, honey. What are you doing way over there? Why don't you come over on my side? Sweetheart, we're still downstairs. Hmm? Well, for goodness sake. Jack. Let's turn off the lights and go to bed. More of the barbers in just a moment. Rinse so blue. To get your clothes both clean and white, you need the two actions you get in Rinso Blue. Power cleaning and bluing. No single action detergent can give you both. For thorough cleanness and whiteness, get Rinso Blue, the two-in-one detergent. Lever Brothers guarantee it'll please you or you get your money back. You get two. Rinso Blue. Use clean toothpaste clean for people who can't brush their teeth after every meal. It's an hour later. In the big master bedroom at Jack's house, Betty suddenly sits up in bed. Jack? Hmm? The phone's ringing. Oh, let it ring. Oh, no. Never mind. I'll get up. I'll go answer it. Hello? Jack, I'm sorry, but I want to come back over there. Will you open the front door? Why, sure, Hazel. Anything wrong? I listened to a news broadcast. A plane piloted by Quade Duckworth is overdue at San Francisco Airport. It left Idaho yesterday morning. Well, Hazel, was Dan going to fly back with him? That was the plan. I'll have the door open. Thank you. Jack? What is it? Put on your robe, Betty. You better come on down. Hazel's going to need you. One Man's Family, which comes to you Monday through Friday, is written by Harlan Ware and directed by Carlton E. Morse. In Chapter 37, Book 129, News from a Ski Slope, Frank Barton speaking. One Man's Family, winner of 46 national awards, now in its 26th year, is a Carlton E. Morse production and comes to you from California. Madeline Carroll stars next in the affairs of Dr. Gentry, as our two hours of drama in the afternoon continues over most of these stations.
Oh, come on, come on. Oh.